thrilled to have everybody here. Tony Baldwin from uh, the Plymouth Chamber. He's the chairman of the board of directors for the Plymouth Chamber. I'm Dave Shan, the president of the Petro Chamber of Commerce. And uh, this is always a great time when Peter puts on this show here at Tiny and & Sons. And we're, we're thrilled that you could come out tonight and join us. Tiny & Sons Glass is hosting a uh, combined Pembroke and Plymouth Chamber of Commerce event. Uh, Mr. Peter Brown and uh, very happy to be here with a lot of board members and a lot of uh, members of both the Pembroke Chamber and the Plymouth Chamber. Peter Brown's pretty pretty cool guy. Peter Brown is the man. He's a very good friend of mine. He's a very good leader in the community. He's very humble and he deserves a lot of recognition. So kudos to Peter. Thank you, Peter. Now we got a good group of people. Um, Pembroke. I've been in the Pembroke Chamber. What? 15 years now at least. Too long. Too, exactly. In uh, Plymouth Chamber I've been 10 years and uh, this year I'm the vice chair of the Plymouth Chamber. So this will be our fourth event having a joint chamber after hours. And as you can see we got about 90 people here. <laughs> local businesses from Pembroke all the way to, to the Cape. So it's a good event. If you're a local business why would you want to be on the Chamber of Commerce? It's right here in this room. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's networking, get to know your neighbors, um, it, the worst part of being in business is cold calling. So right here, it's you get to intermingle. I get to interviews Dave to you know different people of the community, and it works perfect. And it's for 125 bucks, you can't beat it. And we have uh, after hours every second Tuesday in, in the town of Pembroke. Different local businesses will have after after hours like this where you come in and network, and it works awesome. I mean, from being in the chamber. I was able to open a second location in Plymouth. Business community gives back to the community. We'd like the community to also use the business community in Pembroke. That's really what the Chamber is all about. We advocate for our members. Uh, we don't have to do it a lot, but sometimes it's not easy sailing for a, a member. Uh, their business is coming under fire, either from zoning or from planning boards or uh, from uh, the state government, whatever the case might be, and we actually advocate for the members. We try to get the right people that can make the right decisions to help them out and get them back on track to doing what they do best, and that is running their business. That's just one of the things the Chamber does. You know, now we've forged a relationship with the Board of Selectmen. I've always felt that a community is as strong as its schools, as its police and fire, and as its community, uh, business community, is strong. And uh, now the Board of Selectmen have offered us every Monday night that the Board of Selectmen meet to have one of our members come on and, and speak to the board for five or ten minutes about their business. It gives them great exposure. It also opens the eyes to uh, town government as well as town citizens as to who's out there in the business community. And maybe that's somebody I should be doing business with. Uh, you know, it's quid pro quo. Business community gives back to the community. We'd like the community to also use the business community in Pembroke. That's really what the Chamber is all about.